Welcome to Easy Math. In this lesson, we're going to try out an example that has to do with the concepts that we have learned in GP and also some of them from AP. And so the question says uh, the second, four, the seven terms for AP are also the first three consecutive terms for GP. To find the common ratio and some of the first three terms for the GP if the common difference for the AP is two. Now, the AP and the GP written side by side, we have A plus D, which is the second term for the AP, that equals to A, which is the first term for the GP, because of what you're told there. Again, A plus 3D is the fourth term for the AP, and that is equal to the second term for the GP. And lastly, we have A plus 6D, which is the seventh term for the AP, equal to the third term for the GP. Again, we are also told that the common difference for the AP is 2. So that is helpful for us. So that this will be A plus 2, A plus 6, and A plus 12. Now, since we want to find the common ratio of part A, we should know that common ratio is simply the ratio of consecutive terms for the GP. So I'm going to use the expressions of the AP to solve that. I have A plus 12 divided by A plus 6. A plus 12 is this expression here because D is 2. And A plus 6 is this expression here because D is 2 again. And that should be the same as A plus 6 divided by A plus 2. Again, D is 2 and therefore 2 times 3 is 6. So we have A plus 6 and this is A plus that to them. And so we need to have it that particular way. The next step that we need to move into is uh, just cross multiply. We use the concepts that we know from quadratic uh, expansions. And we're going to get this kind of a thing. We simplify, move the like terms together, and you're going to get the value of a to be 6. But what's the question? The question was we look for the common ratio of the GP. Common ratio should be any of these two expressions. This one here. Or this other one here. I have picked this one here. Because uh, a being 6, I can have 6 plus 6 and 6 plus 2. So there it is. And the answer will be 12 all over 8, which is uh, 3 over 2, would be like 1 and a half. And that's the answer for part A, the common ratio of the GP. Part B, we are told to find the sum of the first eight terms. Now, the first eight terms of the GP should be possible to obtain because I think we have every information. Although we don't yet have the first term for the GP. However, we know the first term for the GP is given by this expression A plus D. And we know that A is 6, we know that D is 2. And therefore, A plus D being 6 plus 2 gives us 8, which is the first term for the GP. So now we have everything, we can use it, the formula. The formula whereby the value of R is greater than 1. And so there, there it is. We have some of the first 8 terms where 8 is A. And 8 also is n, and r is 3 over 2. So using this formula here, you can get the sum of first 8 terms, which is uh, going to have these crazy fractions, but you can always uh, simplify them out. The answer will be 394 and a 16th. That brings me to the end of all the explanations that I want to do in the topic of sequences and series. Check out for the next video, which has a summary of something that has to do with them. Um, contrasts and comparisons of the AP and GP. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will appreciate. Thank you.